Hey everybody, welcome to, I guess it's gonna be my first Tesla car video. So I've got this new channel that I've just made, uh, called it Tesla Driver. And basically I'm gonna show you everything Tesla, all the new updates, and basically give you my experience as we go along. Uh, so if you don't know who I am, my name's Ollie. Uh, I do YouTube gaming videos as well, but I wanna focus this channel mainly on Teslas because it's actually my biggest hobby. Outside of gaming, it's Teslas, cars, and tech. So I currently own this, a Tesla Model X uh, 75D, uh, the missus wouldn't let me get anything bigger which is a shame uh, i have my i8 out there as well as my other driver and my hummer actually will go past it uh right now as well uh which is my completely opposite to this car design i don't really know why i have this and a hummer but it's a, it's a little bit of a weird one so what i'm going to run through today is the new update that's just come out so there it is that big yellow thing over there uh the new update that has just come out for the tesla which is version 8.1 2017 28 c52 8 eight six nine yeah that's the one there uh so it's a big update and a lot of people have asked questions about it and i've only just got it so this is going to be my first drive of it which i'm really excited uh to do uh when i get an update on my phone it's the first thing i do is go and drive no matter what time it is it's just what i have to do so this one says it only has minor fixes and improvements but apparently this is like the uh, silky smooth update that elon tweeted about and everything went kind of tits up you had the weird auto lane changing and all that kind of stuff happening so hopefully fingers crossed this one fixes all that and i'm also going to try the new auto park perpendicular parking uh, which came out with the last update but i haven't really tried it yet so i'm going to give it a go today so a little bit of backstory as well while we get driving is uh so i'm from the uk and this is my first Tesla. I did order a Tesla Model S, but it got delayed so much I canceled it and bought the i8. Uh, I also have a Model 3 on order, which is really cool. I got there really early in the ordering thing. Uh, so as soon as they come to the UK, I'll have that as well, which should be pretty good. And I pretty much just love cars. That, that's kind of my main hobby. So let's go on to a route that I do every time to test the new update and see how well it fares. Coming up just after this roundabout is the road that I test my Tesla on every time there is an update. Day. it has a good amount of speed to it good corners uh, and it comes then to kind of a dual carriageway at the end it's never been able to complete it completely without me getting involved so I'm really intrigued to see today if this is gonna made the difference so that it will finally do it itself so it has some pretty tricky stuff in it uh, I like to keep the speed limit down like by 10 miles an hour on it just while it's testing so you can see let's go to auto drive for the first time it goes straight up to the 40 uh, which is quite quick and then you're gonna have some corners and stuff uh coming up here but it's i found on the last update it did this which is when it actually slows down the car so you can see now we're going down to 27 miles an hour we've gone into a 60 now uh and it should start picking up so instantly it's not exactly smooth um it's not shocking but it was it wasn't really smooth so let's bump it up shall we to 45 I never like to do the full speed down here because I mean, I don't do the full speed down here anyway, even when I'm driving, uh, unless I'm in the i8, because the Tesla just, I don't know, it's a little bit wallowy on it. But to be fair, that's actually really, really smooth. So coming up with this bit at the moment, because it's kind of a sharp bend upwards and it goes up the hill, I don't know if it can't calibrate the change in um, whatever it's called, <laughs> where, it, where it gradually goes higher up altitude i don't know uh, my wording's all off but it's actually done that fine and then we have a little lip here and we can see if it uh see if it follows the line so that's going pretty well let's up it up to 50 and see if it can pick it up to 50 yeah all quite well a little bit a little bit ping pongy you can see us going kind of left and right across the road here but this has sections of the road like now uh, obviously it is kind of night it was coming up to night time so the lighting's not great um, and there's no left markings on the side of the road it is simply just you know i don't know just side of the road so there's no markings it can't even see the curb so it is trying to focus on this and i've seen a lot of people have been saying that the car's been hugging the right hand lane a lot more since which i'm intrigued to see if mine does mine seems to be <laughs> hugging the left a little bit too close to my liking um, and it's still quite, it's still not buttery smooth. I mean, I know Autopilot is quite far behind anyway, especially AP2. I've never been in an AP1 car. So if there's any AP1 cars, all right, what's it gonna do here? So it's slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Still slowing down, we're braking, still braking. Now we're accelerating. It all needs to happen kind of smoother and make more sense. 
it's kind of like delayed and then delayed accelerating again. But so far, I would have normally had to have stopped once at the hill back there and once just at that point that we've just gone past because it speeds way too fast through it all. I know we had a car there stop us, so that might have been that. But it seems to be pretty good. Um, it's a little bit nerve-wracking still. So let's bring it up to 55. So the speed limit's 60 down here. And we've got a 40 at the bottom of this hill as well, which normally it flies into the 40 at 60 and it doesn't realize that it's a 40 until a little bit too late. So I'm hoping it's gonna realize it because apparently the GPS locations of some of the speed limit signs have changed. So we can see we're coming into a 40. Is it, it doesn't pick the right-hand lane for once. That's a nice thing. And 40. Yeah, look at that. That is way more responsive. So we've got a car ready to join. It's ignored that completely. Actually, it is done. I'm actually really impressed, guys. This is uh, really impressive. Uh, let me know as well. I haven't really... It's slowing itself down around this corner. That's quite interesting. That It thinks it needs to slow down, so it decides to do it. Um, obviously, I have... Whoa, where are we going here? off on that side of the road okay that was it corrected itself but that was a little bit that was a little bit of a wacky one that was a little bit wacky that's why you've always got to keep your hands up ready to go because it's sometimes i've had it follow this right lane quite a few times oh we're getting close to that left curb please can we just hug the right lane a little bit i was quite excited to see it do that but i still um it's picking up all the potholes which is quite nervy okay going into a 50 does it speed up okay it finally speeds up as well Sometimes it doesn't speed up. I know that you've got to set your traffic aware cruise control to kind of the highest speed that you're ready to go and then it'll amend it when it needs to. But I haven't had to intervene once. We've, we've been on the other side of the road once, but it sorted itself out. And we're nearly at the end of this stretch. It's just the roundabout up here. So, so far, this has been a real big improvement, which is great. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, I, can you guys comment down below anything you might wanna see regarding the Tesla? Uh, and stuff like that. I'm gonna be doing, every time there's an update, I'm gonna be doing one of these videos, so hopefully you find these interesting enough. So, on A roads and B roads, I would have to say that is really impressive, and that is a lot better. It still has some tweaks, but that is a lot, lot better. So, let's go on to a dual carriageway, uh, and then potentially, actually, we can do a little motorway stretch as well, and see how the new lane changing is, because last time, I felt like I was ramming an invisible car off the road. So hopefully this time, it's that buttery smooth that Elon keeps on going on about. Let's try the perpendicular parking then in here, shall we? Let's see if we can find any cars that we can park in the middle of. Yeah, I can see some over there. So I don't know why this wasn't here for, from the start, but it seems quite an obvious one to add in. So we've got a parking space on the right here. And yeah, plenty of space for it. So I'm just going to creep by it. Is it going to pick it up? Nope. Okay, well, I didn't pick that up. That's kind of weird. Why didn't they pick that up? That was a, a massive perpendicular space. Okay, let's try it again. Is it gonna pick up that space? Or does it not, does it not think it can fit? Ah, here we go. All right, let's see if it uh, can do this then. So yeah, it looks like a perpendicular place. Auto park. Let's give it a go. It's a slight speed bump, which is gonna make it a bit interesting. I'm just gonna be here just in case. I still have, I, so I was using the, um, oh God, summon feature the other day. And when I summoned it, it actually didn't stop and it just tapped my decking. So I'm a little bit nervous about its sensors and how well it's gonna do this. But I mean, this is a nice tight space and from what I can see, All right, it has actually smashed it. Okay, it's reversing a little bit too far back now, but that is actually brilliant. That is the first time I've tried auto parking and it's worked without fault. So yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Here it is then, the big test that apparently has been fixed in this update, the lane changing and the driving on the motorway. So we'll see how it is. It's still picking up the hard shoulder as a lane which is a little bit weird that it's still picking that up and it's still not showing all the other cars coming by which is a bit of a shame like I, i'm pretty sure ap1 does that whereas ap2 still doesn't so after this van 
let's indicate out and see what it does see how smooth it is actually that that was a massive massive improvement like really really big normally i lurk to the side and it's and it's really horrible so and that was at 70 as well so that was a good speed to do it at just keep on following this for a second now one thing i have found it struggles with is for example if i wanted to go into this gap here on the left is it struggles to go into a gap that it needs to slow down for i'm not sure why but it seems to struggle doing that so what we'll do here is let's go let's try it shall we let's go into that lane and see there's no car there that's just as smooth as i do it that's really really good bump it up a little bit and try it at 80 and it speeds up as well as it over as it starts the overtake which is nice whereas before it went the same speed and when it came out then it's decided to accelerate whereas on this one it does it totally different a little bit of uh delay there i'm not sure if it was because there was a slight bridge and bridges are obviously known to be bad for the tesla's autopilot system but so far this has been really really smooth okay so we've got this junction coming up and i don't know what it's going to do i don't know if it's possible to maneuver into a junction whether it will take it as a lane or not so i'm going to pull the speed down to probably 60 when i get near the junction and then i'll see uh, i'll see what it does so let's start pulling it down 65 and so it's where that van is over there i'll pull it down to 60 i just want to see what it decides to do will it take it it does take the junction it has actually taken the junction but i think it wanted to follow kind of on a, a straight line that was impressive actually that it that it took the junction well this is all new this is interesting they're all, all redoing all of this this is the final little area i like to test the car on so it's actually pretty cool it's two lanes and the lanes kind of swerve for some random reason i'm not sure why onto a horrible bit of uh, tarmac but still and this is where the car works best you've got the two solid lines it just kind of you know it just follows them and it works really really nicely and i've been able to get nearly home all the way like all the way home once but it cocked up right near the end and i'll show you where that is uh but yeah that's kind of it i'm not sure what you guys thought of this video whether you've watched it the whole way through if you have thank you i guess uh but this is more me putting out my thoughts about the car i love to watch other people's videos about just how well the car is driving on the new update where they live like how it drives where they live and the different kind of road conditions i know it sounds probably a little bit weird and a lot of people say that it's a real boring thing for me to do but i absolutely love doing it so i'm going to keep on doing it and i thought i'd put my experience out there for you guys as well so let me know what you think and uh yeah it'd be pretty cool to get some feedback so this sometimes goes a little bit weird it likes to hug the right because this road is so wide you see what i mean it, it kind of it veers left and then it decides to decides to go on the right hand side of the road and follow the white line so i'm just i'm just gonna follow it just a little bit here and it's it's not the best line to see and to be fair the road has a load of markings on it but it gets tight here as well which is another thing like you can see here this tight whoa 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 okay there we go once the car i think starts to learn roads that would be huge yeah it was about to go off like i was just holding it straight and it, it did not want to do that let's see if it can do it so we've got a 40 here let's see hopefully it'll slow down nice and quickly oh my god whoa 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 yeah well it has slowed down got a little corner it's done the corner fine and yeah it seems pretty good so i'm pretty happy with the update it's definitely ironed out a lot of things it's still not perfect and 
Elon said it would be pretty much perfect by now, but it's still not. So hopefully the next big update is, is really big and has a lot of stuff, but it's starting to iron out a little bit. You can see a little bit of ping ponging going on here, left and right, but I think that's because there's no row marking over there. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. Leave a like if you want to see more and stuff as well. Even if you don't want to see more, I'll be posting more because I quite enjoy doing it and it gets me out of the house uh, and gets to drive the car. Okay, here we go into a 30. And yeah, God, it does slam on 30 quite a lot. It'd be nice if it read it and slowed it down. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.